there, I'm so glad you could join me today. We're gonna do a simple little painting. You don't need too many materials. I'm working with a uh, stretch canvas. If you have paper at home, you use whatever you have. And we're gonna use a few colors today. I've got a white, black, brown, yellow, red, a good amount of blue, and some green. We're only gonna use a little red. If you don't have all these colors, that's okay. It's your happy painting and you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna start with about a two inch brush here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get this brush a little wet. And I'm gonna go in some white. And I'm just gonna get some white up in the sky here. And this is really gonna help blend all our colors nicely. And if you need some more, just go right back in that water. And we're just going side to side. And why not? I'm just gonna keep on going down the canvas. she's ready. All right, we're going to put a sky in now. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue and I'm just leaving whatever that white was on my brush. I'm going to keep that there. And we're going to go in and just mix that with the white. Just like so. And you can do this however you want. I might make little X's Make sure I'm covering all that white space. And a little more on the side. And I might leave it a little scratchy there in the middle, that's okay. And I think up in the corners, I'm gonna make it a little darker. A little more of that blue. And isn't that just a happy little sky we've got going? Whoops. get some water in here. I'll wash off my brush a little bit. And let's get a little more of this blue. And this one we kind of want to see our brush strokes because it's the water. So I'm not going to blend it too much. I'm going to come in on this side. Love the sound of that brush, don't you? A little more over here. All right, now my favorite part. I'm gonna make some happy little clouds. All right, I have to get more white paint. <laughs> yeah. And for this one, I'm making a, or using a smaller brush, and I'm just gonna get a little white on the corner of that brush. And we're gonna go in here. Now, these are your clouds, so you can make them wherever you want. 
just going to do little circles, happy little circles, with the corner on my brush. And you think about clouds, they kind of do what they want. So you can have your clouds go in whatever shape you want them to. And then I'm going to dry my brush a little and just blend out the bottom of that cloud. Like so. And let's get another one in there. That was fun. Maybe this one's right underneath. And just little circles. A little bit bigger and blend it out. Now here's a really neat little trick. If we get a little red in there, a tiny bit of red, and we can get some little pink highlights in those clouds. All right, that was so much fun. I want to do one more. A little over here. And now just because I'm putting a cloud over here doesn't mean you need to. clouds and that's the other important thing is to know when to just leave it alone and I think that'll about do it all right let's get a little highlight in this water so I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow here and a little white in there with it and just very gently little whisper. All right. Now everyone says mountains are so hard. I don't think mountains are that hard. I'm going to show you how to make an easy mountain. I have this thing here called a palette knife and if you don't have this you can just use a brush. But I'm going to get some black and some brown. Why not? Let's get a little green in there. And I'm going to mix that up really good. It's mostly black. We want this to be really dark to start. All right, I'm going to get a little of this on my knife. You can see here, this is just a little roll of paint. And we're going to start maybe on top of this cloud a little bit. And I'm just going to drag this knife right across the canvas. Just kind of drawing the shape of a mountain here. And it's going to be a little scratchy at first, but we'll go back in there. And just like our clouds, our mountain's not going to be perfect. All mountains are different. All clouds are different. And I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom of my mountain because we're going to be covering it with trees later. has a little paint on it. We'll just make sure it's mostly clean. And I'm going to smooth out this here mountain just to get most of that extra wet paint out of there. So we can put other things on top of there later. Alright, let's do that again. A 
black. It's mostly black. We want to keep it nice and dark. And let's put a happy little mountain on the side. And we're just drawing it with our palette knife here. again. All right, now I'm going to get a smaller brush and we're going to make a light green color. Get a little green, mostly yellow. I'm turning my brush I don't want to mix it too much. I kind of like how I have all those different colors on my brush there. And we're going to make a little grass on the mountains. And I'm not brushing, I'm just tapping like this. think it's getting a little too mixed with the black, just get a little more. And on the other mountain too. Sounds like a drum. Take a bigger brush and just kind of smooth it all in there. Not too much. Kind of close the gap between the mountain and the water. those mountains a little bit more realistic. Let's see. I'm going to take a little white and a little brown on my knife here. A little roll of paint. And let's just drag some light areas in that mountain. very lightly. We don't want to blend this part in. We want it to look a little rugged. I like that. And that's everyone's favorite part now is some happy little trees. Let's see. I'm going to get some green. Touch of black. Now for this you want to use a brush that has a little bit of a straighter top. So we're going to just drag this vertically just to make some little, 
little family of trees that lives right about here. All right. And we're just gonna turn our brush and add a little bit of those branches in there. Now I'm gonna take a tiny brush, a little bit of black, just to make those pop a little. Now we won't do too much little detail like this, but where it's far away, things are smaller in the background. We want to make sure we're giving love to those parts of our painting too. All right, how's that? Pretty good. Okay. Let's take this brush again. And just like how we did the sky in the beginning, we're gonna go in and just sort of crisscross right at the water line. So we're gonna have a nice little row of trees right here. We'll cover that water. Now I can get a little carried away with these trees, so you'll have to stop me. And trees just start out as simple lines, so if you can draw a straight line up and down, you can make a tree. These are going to be pretty dark, but I do want to make sure I get a nice green color so there's some contrast from the mountains. And we're just going to go down our tree and start to make some branches like this. And we don't need too much detail yet. Happy little forest. All right, let's get some highlights on those trees. And take a little more of this light green we made with the yellow. And just some highlights on there. All right, let's get a ground in there before we get to our water. I'm gonna wash my brush. And I'm gonna change my brush too. I'm gonna go back to this soft brush. little grass on the riverbank there. And we lost some of our tree. Let's bring it back. turning out to be a happy little painting. All right, let's see if we can do something a little neat here. I'm gonna take this brush that I used for my sky and my water, 
see if we can get a little reflection in the water. And just dragging down those trees gently. Just a whisper. And I'm gonna take a little more blue and white. And blur it out. A little reflection there. Getting a little white on my small brush. And I'm just doing some reflections on the water where the water meets the ground here. Very gently. And I'm going to blur that out a bit more. All right, now this is the part where I usually get a little too carried away. But all I'm going to do is add a little more highlight in some of these trees. And that's about a finished painting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you try this one. It's very simple, can be done with very few colors. Have a wonderful day. Ha <laughs> ha